24 hour respite center is moving to Adelaide Street near King and Bathurst. A concern for residents who say they found out about this site on their own, just a baseball throw away from their children's school. And they say they haven't been getting any information from city officials. Going in right, right here, about 40 meters away from where we're standing, which is about 60 meters away from the front door of the elementary school that our children attend. Residents and parents whose children attend St. Mary's Catholic School say they found out two weeks ago that the St. Felix Center that was on Augusta Avenue will be relocated to Adelaide Street near King and Bathurst. This is being sprung upon us and you're just like, why? Like, there's kids right here, okay? Right. There, there can be another spot, there has to be. This is going to be wedging this elementary school right now between a safe injection site right behind it and a 24 hour low barrier respite site. With support from the city, the 24 hour respite site will be opening in early 2024 with approximately 60 spaces to support people experiencing homelessness at a time when the city is desperate for shelters. Residents say there has been ongoing safety issues in the area, including needles and drug paraphernalia found in the neighborhood daily, including near schools. I don't feel like it's going to be safe anymore to be able to just go for a walk or just spend some time outside after school. And most concerning, neighbors say the city has not been transparent. We don't even know why they chose this spot. We don't know what their criteria was. Were they using like evidence based best practices to choose this location. We have no idea and all because we haven't been able to speak with any officials. Residents say they had to find out about this project on their own. The decision around the location of respite centers and shelters in Toronto is an operational one made by city staff where criteria is met, not council's decision. Area Councillor Asma Malik says her office is taking community concerns seriously and the city will also consult with residents as part of this process. Once the location has been determined by city staff, a public engagement process is initiated where community members are able to ask questions. Well, residents are saying that didn't happen. So as we, as far as I understand, the finalizing of the agreement is currently a still in progress. This isn't a done deal. Right now, the agreement, as far as I understand, is being finalized. And residents, along with parents, saying they will be holding another plan meeting here next week. They're hoping officials do show up to hear their concerns. For City News, I'm Faisa Amin.